thing. I have never seen it before. She would not give you one. She was like, very impressive. We've got cockroaches. Let's get in line. They're grown. They're grown. Thank you so much. Thank you. I don't need a no. no, go to another dome. You can go to the What's up, you guys? You're watching Stranger's Secret. Before I get started with today's video, we're almost at 50,000 subscribers. I really appreciate you guys can give this video a thumbs up and subscribe button. We are almost, almost there. Today, we are at last call. This event has been so anticipated for me. Like, I have been ready for it. We are three hours early. I have me and my crew here. And there's already a lot. There's already people outside. Todavía people afuera. Yo creo me muy, muy. I'm going to get my little chairs, as you can see from the last vlog. I got my chairs. I got everything. And, you know, ya estaba como grito, como, oh, yo hace primero, whatever. Nadie me va a decirme nada. There's already, like, a few people outside. So, yeah. Um, vamos a comenzar. It's about, like, it's about, like, 8-ish. And they open at 11. So, we'll be here for a good, good three hours. But... I'm planning to take a nap because I'm pretty exhausted, but um, we're going to put good energy out there. We're going to see if we come home with some Bottega bags or what the tea is. And yeah, so I'm going to keep you guys updated. Link for outfit and everything. I'll, I'll talk about it later down below. Vlog, I'll just mention everything, but let's hope and pray we find good stuff. My knowledge is that there is going to be good things. So let's go ahead and go in and kill it and see what we can find. And I'll show you the line. And like I said, tengo sillas y todo para sentar my fat ass down. So um, let's go ahead and go in. <laughs> So I'm here with my little chair and I'm going to be sitting here for the next three hours. I am exhausted. I did not go to sleep till 5 in the morning. Now I'm going to sit here and probably take a nap because I definitely need it. Okay, so they have moved the line because it's still chispeando fuera. So as you can see, it's our little gay homosexual children over there. The line's a little bit crazy. We still have about two hours. Are you ready to have some orange juice fantasy? I'm with Miss Haley Hall, with Paulette. And my other friend, and we're here with the crew, and we are about to, yeah, as we're holding Chipotle, but we finna eat real good, real quick. So, you know, we gotta be a little energized in this little moment. Yeah, the line's getting a little bit crazy. We had a little thing. We're making a big, big show with with our little chairs here. There's about like 50 people ahead of us, but I'm gonna, we're gonna come out winning. We're gonna get all the good stuff. We're so bothered by the. Ain't nobody stopping us from getting these deals. Nobody's stopping us from getting these deals, guys. Absolutely nobody. Oh my god, guys. The line is like humongous. Like it is People are cutting the line. This is the real tea. She's cute, whatever, but she cut the line, and that's not fair. Is handbags? Is this? Is this? You weren't in line before us. Yeah. I, was, I, was, I, was, I was after him. Okay, I'm, you guys Wait, mine, I can't tell mine's 200. Shouldn't it, shouldn't it be? Thank you. No, it's this. Oh. 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 Oh my god, oh my god, it's getting crazy. 
Oh my god, it's black <laughs> You need to tell Oh my god, I got my ticket. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> Okay. I know. Don't give out another number, man. Let their ass get in line. They grow. They grow, man. Thank you. 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 You need to take it. You need to take it. No, but it's low, low, low. No. But y'all don't have to say she's taking shit. How did you guys do that? She would not give you one. She was like, very hard. There's to be no running. There's to be no pushing. This does not look like a straight line. So let's get it together before I open up these doors. And respect the people that were here first. Yeah, yeah respect, yeah. Y'all gotta go. I'm way later than me, guys. I'll tell you what. You can't get me. I can wait here all day. You all know. You know me. I don't mess around. Exactly. So thank you to this club for getting it together. This club, we got a little bit of opportunity, okay? I don't even want to go in there. I just want to see you. This shoe is on the way. Everyone to have a good event. Okay? Well, you guys have to. But how do you get away? How are you? How you been standing around long? Thank you. Find good bags. Regardless of this chaos. We're going we're gonna to pull through. Six, seven. She has eight. And then nine and then ten. No, I'm going to make sure she gives you a ticket. Should I come up here? Okay. 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 And then uh, my friend was behind us. My, my yeah. They were they were here before. Yeah, all three of us. Yeah. I don't know how these people are trying to be wishy washy. But like that's why yeah, you come early and you just sit there and, and that's fine. I mean we had it good. Yeah, y'all are posting up in chairs. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, I'm no. This is all going on YouTube. So. People, I've never seen it like this before. It's absolutely crazy, guys. This is Sergio's secret exclusive. Uh, last call by Neiman Marcus. I wonder if last night. All for the love of a good designer deal. You know where to go, right? We just follow him and you just kind of Okay. No, here, come. Okay. Oh my god, guys. Absolutely insane. They're letting seven people in at a time. The Bottegas. Oh, that's the one that he leaked. Grab that silver one. The silver one. Yeah. Yeah. This is cute. Okay, well, I'm definitely doing this, but. I can't believe it's British for nothing. 
Ahorita vamos a los zapatos. Oh, can I see that? Is that great? How much is that? Let me see. And it has a pouch and everything. Oh. Okay, damn, it looks crazy. Marcy, sorry, they're like rushing me. Already, I'm getting a little way, way um, puzzled on. I've never seen it that crazy before. I've never seen it like that, and it, and it wasn't, and it wasn't even that like big of a selection. No, it's just terrible. Japanese is actually really cute. Yeah, I know, right? Being girlies, it was crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, we got our things. Oh, look at this Fendi, look how cute this is. <laughs> No, it's three thousand dollars still. This one. Oh, for seventeen? Mm, no. If it was maybe like twelve. Yeah, I think they're a really good deal. Oh my god! Don't you have this? I used to have that one in my collection, and I liked it though. I believe so, yeah. Oh my god, cockroaches! <laughs> Are you gonna get those? I don't know, yeah. should I? Yeah. If you don't want them, I'll get them. They're cute. Cockroaches. Oh, thank you. I'll probably give it to you. I'm just that making it so on cute. I'm just making it on cute. Girl, I am a hot mess. Uh, like this sweatshirt is a little too oversized. I feel like uh, uh, so hot. I should have worn a t-shirt. I'm sorry guys, that was a lot to deal with. But I did get one thing and I'm about to go to the woman's shoes. And since I have big shoes, I find that I'm about to find my suerte. Um, oh, there's paper towels. So my outfit of the day, a Nina Bean sweatshirt. I'm wearing some Vince kind of loose trousers. They, are actually when I first bought them, I thought they were size 8, they're actually a size 6, and they feel like pretty loose. I still have to work out today. Um, my zipper was unzipped. Okay, also, some bunny shoes, and then my um, YSL camera bag. Uh, I'm dying. And they have more, they sell Orchata here at Grapevine, and I think I'm gonna get some more Chata. And yeah, I've only purchased one thing. Am I understanding? I thought there was gonna be a lot more. My Haley, my friend, she had a bag worth of stuff and the stuff got missing. And girl, it's just so much drama. But to the shoe section, now we go and see what we can find. <sighs> so much stuff. <sighs> so much drama. Drama, drama, drama. Hey, how are you, love? That's me. How are you? I'm doing well. Yeah. Waiting for the weekend. They have so much shoes. No, but not so shoes. I said it, I knew I didn't find anything possible. 
All the good seeds are gone, not for the long run. Prada moment. Torino Rossi. 161. That's actually a really good price. Excuse me. Yeah, there's like no more like sneaker type shoe. It's super kicked over. Sorry. Those ones? Oh, they're so hot. They're hot. But yeah, they are more in the feminine. Yeah, it's, it's a little picked over now. I feel like these. There you go. This event is a lot more crazy. It gets crazier and crazier every time. These things are actually really cute. 379. There is Bottega shoes too. Homegirl has a pair of Bottegas. But I really don't see anything. It's definitely super picked over for sure. I really don't see anything. I'm happy with the bag that I got. Everything else I'm just very yeah. I found a pair of shoes. These are from the row. I kind of like them. I think they're really cute. Do you like them? I like them. I like them. You like them? I do. Oh, like I like them. those too. Me too. Should I get these? Yeah. Cause like I feel like I can make it. Yeah, they're not gonna move. Yeah. Okay, so I'm in the men's shoes. They actually have like a lot of men. These are three twenty-five Saint Laurent. This is Ferrogamo, 200, they have these little Ugg slides, 36. I feel like I kind of need a pair of Ugg slides because my uh, brother stole mine. Celine loafers, 376, super cute. Those rose shoes I didn't end up getting, they were like a little bit too small on me. Um, I just rather not. These blue boots, 340. That's actually a really great deal. These are classic Louboutins, but you know, I'm not a big Christian Louboutin fan. I'm more of a Gucci loafer type of girl. But like, as far as like sneakers and stuff, yeah, there's not a whole, whole lot. They have these Versace uh, running ones. I'm so frustrated. Yeah, I'm going to say. There are these little Prada ones. 378. Oh, 387. Versace. Those are kind of cute. It's a very flashy moment, though. These little Prada Celine. Excuse me. Raggy Bone Sandals. Manolo Blahnik. Oh, these Celines are actually really cute. 340 and they're size 41. These are actually really cute. <laughs> oh, these. It says they're 
that's 42 and a half. Those are really cute. I wish those were 41s, even though they're Louboutins. I like the details on them, but I really like the filling ones. So. No, I didn't see anything. So my friend Jada literally got the steel of the century. This is the hottest shoe. Okay, I'm gonna grab one. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, you are like the luckiest person ever. Like, you got the Cinderella shoe. Put it on the channel, is that okay? Yeah, of course. Okay, so mi amiga here. Oh, baby. I'm these, these, are these, these are, are replicas. So are you don't, serious? Don't get these. How do you know? I love, I love the shoe. I got that. Oh, I just told her that these ones are fake. <gasps> How do you know? These are a replica, baby. Here, pull it. You, you know they did that at my job? Because the Valentino here is a lot more different. No, baby, these are fake. And then at the sole, too, like this isn't, this is plastic, baby. This is not a, like reg a regular oh, sole yeah. legally. No, baby, these are fake. I'm so glad that I said, oh, let me check them out. Because yeah. I, you would have went home How and thought they were fake. You can tell by the gold. You can tell by here. You can tell by the sole. Oh, baby. Shit. Like, like, here, look at the difference. Like, look at the tag. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, the studs. My God. Baby. You... No, those, those are real. Those are real. Yeah, this is madera, and that's like plastic. This is plastic. Oh, my God. Yeah, baby, I told they you. They did that at my job. They're replica. Here go, love. But I think they're worth it. So no on these. I mean, guy, well, how how can I let you have, have a replica replica shoe? It'd be like that though, baby. You gotta get yourself a Sergio secret friend. He'd be telling Again, you the I truth. I wear sneakers like. I know you wear shoes like these, so I think you would wear them. Yeah. She's some bonitas, but these run a little big though. Model the shoes for us. See, si some bonitas. They look really good with your skin tone. Si, si las compartelas. Si, compartelas. Están bonitas. So, Paula, I'm going to do these. She just oh, got these. But I told her to. I think she'll get more wear um, on these than these. I think these ones are more worth it. But yeah, I think you should do these. That's so cute. So, Haley Hall's going to show us what she found. She found this Balenciaga. Well, I had went in first, and then me and Paulette. We're looking for stuff for our friends because we're not, you know, messed up people. And so, long story short, Haley Hall wanted this bag. She manifested this bag. She manifested it really bad. Retails for $18.90. This girlie got it for $800. Beautiful. Has a plastic on it. It has a, it has a dust bag. And it actually has a strap with the plastic on it. So that goes to show you that this is brand new. She's going to be looking like Cardi being her fabulous hourglass bag. And then, me and Haley Hall are actually gonna be best friends now. We got matching YSL crossbody. So I got mine at last call here for 575. She got one this. Um, so whenever I went in, I had grabbed that, that, and that um, for, well, the low weight bag was gonna be for me, but I knew that Haley wanted a bag like this. And since it was a little chaotic, I knew that she wanted this bag. So we got it for her for 575. She's gonna be, we're gonna be matching twins. We're gonna be living that beautiful Saint Laurent crossbody moment. And now we'll never sell this bag because now, um we're matching so here you go you got the YSO back how do you feel <laughs> feel liberated right now so now we're matching <laughs> twins and then for me obviously i got the loewe puzzle bag i love the color i think the color goes with absolutely everything i appreciate the silver hardware on it i love the zipper i love everything about it i think it's absolutely beautiful and this is the price of it and i don't know i've just been into neutral colors and i feel like this one will go with absolutely everything it comes with a strap the only thing is it's a little dirty here but nothing that i i can go to dino's and get that clean it's not really a big deal a little flap i've always wanted a puzzle bag i never knew what colorway i was always open to it then in a dust bag i'm talking a lot tissue i met so many beautiful subscribers today um see the price is twenty seven hundred dollars so it's like a three thousand dollar bag. Oh, it's actually from Birdorf Goodman. Um, I've never had anything from Birdorf Goodman tag. It has like little gay homosexual pocket in here. Um, oh, see, it's had price increases, and I just love the color. I love it so much. My little gay a puzzle bag. I just freaking adore it. 
And so now it's mine in my collection. Um, but I want to say thank you to all the subscribers that I met today. I love each and every single one of you. It was so chaotic. It was so crazy. It was so crazy, guys. It was so chaotic. I have never seen grown adults act like animals. Like literally, there were so many people like at the end that were cutting line. Like all of us that were here, we paid our dues. We were there for three and a half plus hours. Now we'll say the shoe event was a lot more popping. There was a lot more shoes. The only thing is I always prioritize handbags regardless if, you know, I know people like my friend Jada, she got so many uh, nice designer shoes. I love me designer shoes, do not get me wrong. But at the end of the day, for me, I always prefer a handbag. Like I'm just always been more of a day one handbag. I love it. I think it is so cute. It is so poppin'. And I'm so happy I finally have a little baby puzzle bag into this collection. And I love that it came with the dust bag. And I love it so much that I'm actually gonna start putting stuff in the bag. So, I have Lana. I'm gonna actually gonna put all my cash in the back. It's actually pretty decent. My keys right here. I have another card here. I'm just gonna throw that in here. And cash. So put more cash in here. I have a little gay pocket in there. I have my receipt. More cash. I have a Dior lip balm. Girl, we're hearing all the drama right now. These are so cute. A little stuff in here. No, I would say to call the police for sure. Yeah, like, she's a woman by herself. You have to, like, line up for everything. Like, I just love it, Billy. I love it, too. Can you go Nike? I wish you came because there were so many good men's stuff. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of good mints. So. Like, yeah, um, for handbags, um, there wasn't a lot, not gonna lie. I thought there was gonna be more than I anticipated. For shoes, there was a lot of good shoes. A lot of women's shoes, a lot of Valentino. There was a replica Valentino that one of my friends, uh, she works in luxury retail and she was gonna buy it. And I told her that it was a replica and so she ended up not buying them. It was weird because the people that worked there were like kind of asking us all these weird questions. Like, oh, like, um, where did you find this? Like, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, girl, you're acting like I'm the one that switched out these val that Valentino for, for a replica one. And it's like, that's not my fault. If anything, you should be grateful because I'm telling you. I told her I'm an expertise and girly. Girl, there was just like a lot of drama, a lot of people, a lot of people were acting like juveniles. But I came out winning. Like I said, normally I would love to purchase, you know, I had a, a couple, a, a decent amount of money for me to save up for the event. But I am. I think it was meant for me just to buy this bag and I'm super happy with it. Like like I said, for me to put my stuff in here, it means I love it. Like I love it. It's absolutely everything. Bye so back here. We'll, we'll forget about her in a second. But uh, But yeah guys, it was so chaotic, it was so crazy in there. Was it worth it? Yeah, I came out winning. All my friends came out winning. A lot of my friends don't want me to show, disclose them, and they want me to show them what they purchased, but that's fine. But I love it, I came out winning. Um, but yeah, it was crazy. It was Black Friday all over again. Hey guys, it's Sergio. So I'm now back home. It's a poquito mas en la tarde. I changed my face a little oily, but I kind of wanted to talk about things about the event, just in case if you've never been to a last call event before, or you don't know how it works. Um, I, I will to last call events for the last two years. And honestly, guys, I have never seen it like this in a very long time. Even prior to um, COVID, I have never seen it this wild and this intensive. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you how everything happened and what happened towards me. And hopefully if somebody from maybe Neiman Marcus Corporate last call, I don't plan, I don't wanna get in trouble for posting this video, um, but I did wanna show how things were. And maybe going forward, maybe they can make it more of a safe and fun environment 
because it really was not a safe environment um, at one point. And so um, the doors open at 11, right? Inside the store prior to the event, they would have these fixtures kind of announcing and in the case they would put like, they had like a Louboutin tote, they had St. Laurent camera bags, they had just had fun merchandise that people were gonna look forward for to shop for, right? And so me and my friends got there right around like 7.50ish. Um, me, Paulette, and Haley, we all got there. And then some of my other friends were already kind of a little bit ahead. But we were all just kind of like a little bit as a group. We were all planning to go there. Uh, a couple of my friends were, they were already kind of in their groupie. But we all know each other. We were all talking. We were all kicking it up. And it was our group. That's why I brought, bought the chairs that you saw in the last vlog. And I said, oh, girl, I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to wear my oversized sweater. I don't care if it rains. I'm going to get these good deals. No me importa. No me importa. And so we kind of like tailgate the event. It was a little bit of a good fantasy. Not going to lie. I love a little good kiki with the girls drinking uh, water. Drink, you know, we Uber eat uh, Chick-fil-A for everybody. Like, it was such a good time. It was kicking it up. While it was, while when the Uber got um, delivered, um, it started raining. So we moved to the side. At that point, it was still very early early so people weren't as crazy people really respected the line and everything and then kind of within the last hour the line just started getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and people from different lines i would see would cut the line would move the line people were arguing people were like oh you're cutting the line like it would already starting to be a little chaotic so i felt like that built like a lot of tension within people like i said it was us three you know me and my friends and you know there were people ahead of us that did cut as you saw in the video there was this beautiful lady with like some valentino boots and she cut the line and a couple of all, all little of her friends they cut the line and i don't think that's really fair am i gonna say something no because i really um you know i don't think that's my place to say anything i know people said stuff to them but you know i'm just chilling i'm winning i said god's gonna bless you what he's gonna bless me with and you know uh, you're gonna get karma for whatever you do so that's what i just that's just the way i see it and so they started opening the doors and they she kind of announced the people the employees and then they started giving out tickets and just all of a sudden all these people started rushing and rushing and rushing i'm so glad that we put the chairs back into my vehicle by the time we did um and we put it five minutes before all that chaotic happened and then all these people started screaming and yelling and you know acting like complete children and i i you know me and my friends we got our tickets you know we were secured us and then the people that were in front of us that we knew it was just like two people in front of us it, it was a little group that you know we, we've known each other for years um you know they got their tickets so we were like we're eating like we got fine we don't care we got our tickets and we're gonna keep it moving and i just didn't like that whole environment like that pushing and shoving yes i was here for that in 2015 and 2012 and 2010 that walmart that target black friday fantasy i was living for it when i was a child definitely i love the uh, fun and the excitement but you know i'm a grown man now i i don't really want to experience that and so uh and so you know they gave out the tickets and stuff you know once they opened it up i went to the handbag section um and so it was i think i was paulette was number five i was number six and then Haley was number seven so they let all of us in but at number seven they stopped so Haley was going to be the next one to go in and so me and Paulette went into the to the room. Uh, you know, I got the puzzle bag. I got her the hourglass bag, the camera bag. And then I had grabbed like an other bag too. I grabbed a YSL Nikki, but I was kind of unsure if I wanted to buy it in the black on black. But it was more like the matte black on black. So I was like, mm, I'm not sure. And I was like, you know, I can buy it for my mom. And then I also at one point I thought about buying the Chloe Marcy, the larger one for my for Mother's Day for my mom, because she's been wanting a Chloe Marcy bag for the longest. I know I've been saying how I've been wanting a Marcy bag too for the longest, but you know, I would much rather enjoy buying it for my mom than for me. But I ended up not I ended up not going for it because I would also remember my mom has been wanting a piece of jewelry and I find like a piece of jewelry she would wear a little bit more. And the Chloe Marcy's every time I'm at, a, I'm at a last call event, I always find one and sometimes they're a little bit less, like eight hundred dollars. That one was a thousand like one hundred. So I was like, you know what, I can wait. And you know, my mom can wait and she'll probably enjoy the jewelry a little bit more. Cause you know, she's bag lady, but she's not like a super crazy fanatic like me. And so we got the bags. And then we went to go check out. They had lost Haley's bag. So um, so it was Paulette, right? So it was me, the YSO bag, and then it was this bag, 
the St. Laurent, the St. Laurent Nikki bag, and then in Paulette, I told her because it was a limit of two. And so Paulette wanted a Selma McCartney bag because she's vegan, she didn't see any, so she, uh, I ended up giving the two bags to her and to put them in her name, Haley. And then so Haley went, she didn't find anything, but she was happy and she was so grateful because we've been talking about, she's been wanting to buy my camera bag for the longest, literally before, the day before we were talking about bags that we wanted to get. I My list, I'm gonna be honest, my list, I put a Loewe puzzle bag. It wasn't my first choice, I'm not gonna sit here and lie. I put a Bottega pouch bag, a Bottega cassette, um, I had a St. Laurent kind of fun bag, a Louis Vuitton puzzle bag, a Chloe a Marcy small bag, and maybe uh, what else I could find. But it definitely was in my list and you've seen on my YouTube channel, I've been talking about getting a puzzle bag for the longest. Um, if you follow Emma Hill, Emma Hill has been one of my favorite fashion muses for such a long time and she's had her Louis Vuitton puzzle bag for many years. So I've always appreciated it on her and I, knew that, and I knew that one day I would get one. And so, you know, we went and checked out they had lo somehow they had lost um, Paulette's bags um, that were for Haley, and so we were like a little bummed out. And then I bought the bag. I, I love the bag, and so I got it. And then we went to shoes, and then the shoe line wasn't that bad. We went to the shoes, um, and then um, I didn't find anything. Uh, they found some shoes, and then we went to check out in customer service and we just kind of asked around like the different registers if there's a bag for palette bag for palette and so they ended up having it there and then so she got the bags we were so excited because that i feel like that kind of killed the mood because she, Haley has been really wanting to go to a last call event but she just has never had the time to go and so she had time she felt like her time was wasted uh, because you know those were her bags we at first we thought maybe somebody had purchased them but um you know Haley bought a couple other shoes she came out winning she bought a lot of things my friend paulette bought a lot of things um you know my other friends that don't want me to disclose their identity they also bought a lot of nice things but you know i mean you typically like i said i have already was saving for this event i was like i was even down to buy like four bags at one point but you know i also didn't want to force myself to buy stuff that's why i didn't buy the nikki if i forced myself I would have bought the Nikki, I would have bought the Kabata tote just to buy it. But I really want to buy things that I love. And when I saw this color, and you guys know how much I've been loving the light colored bags, I was like, no, this is going home with me. I love it. Like, I literally am using it right now. I used it today. I just love how effortlessly it is. Uh, I love how understated it is. And it, it, it just, it hits the aesthetic. It hits the vibe. And I love the back pocket. Like, I just love, love, love her. I'm going to give her a name. I think I want to name her... Um, something cute i haven't decided but i think i'm gonna start naming my handbags um so i think i'm gonna name her noah i think that's the name this is noah um and so i got the bag but within the shoe it was just so much and so chaotic and i just didn't like the front but once we were all in it was fine but um people are like arguing about limits of shoes and stuff so uh i don't know if somebody's watching i would just appreciate it next time maybe if there's more regulation within the line because there was it did get pretty tension i feel like that tension really built up once everybody started running out like that and there was people that were like shorter there was older ladies they were like people like my age there was so many different demographics so much races so much ages of different people and i just felt for me in my opinion i feel like there was people that could have gotten strampled somebody could have really gotten hurt or you know right now we're in a pandemic something could have happened i mean i had my face mask on and you know i was washing my hands and i did my thing but i mean i didn't really like that but like i said i got my ticket so i was like you know what i really don't care because I, i'm still gonna get one i'm gonna come here for i did not wait three hours uh not to get anything and so i got it and i loved it um just next time for the event guys if you do want to go i suggest going super early at least the one in grapevine next time when i go i'm even gonna go even earlier um because i want to make sure that i'm secured but i wish that maybe there's somebody that regulates the line or takes care of it and then also we're doing like a fire drill for like 15 minutes and that sound like you heard early in the vlog with that blah, 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 blah. But yeah, guys, I came out winning with my Loewe puzzle bag. I love her. I'll be doing a Loewe video very, very soon because I have other Loewe handbags into my collection. I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. To all my beautiful subscribers that came up to me or that showed me your opinion on a shoe, I have I met so many subscribers. Some of you guys told me y'all have lived in DFW area for 10, 15 years. Y'all never knew about this place. And it brings such a warm heart to my, uh, it just warms my heart so much. I want to say hi to my friend Jada. I see her every single time at every last call event. Shout out to you. I'm going to post, leave her uh, Instagram down below. And yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for all my friends for coming with me. Thank you so much for guys for watching this. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the last call event, it was super crazy.
um comment it down below what do you think about it did it look like black friday because for me it definitely did seem like black friday but yeah i want to say thank you thank you thank you so much for watching guys i love each and every single one of you and i'll see you guys on the next video which will be probably tomorrow bye guys and take care love you all